The Mackenzie Delta unfolds across a seemingly endless horizon. The Arctic Peninsula is pockmarked with lakes and massive geologic structures called pingos. The sensitive terrain also bears old scars from prospecting conducted by oil and gas companies during the heyday of Arctic exploration in the 1970s and 80s. It is a part of the North's recent history some would like to reclaim. When we had all that offshore exploration in Tuck, you know, in the, in the 70s and early 80s, I mean, it was an in, incredible infrastructure to get, uh, you know, all the stuff that's coming into Inuvik and then get it loaded onto river barges and from river barges onto ocean barges and then bring it into Tuck. Well, now, you know, you, you basically, uh, with some work on the Tuck Harbor, you got a link. Sea ice is melting, and the territory is poised to assume control of its natural resources from Ottawa. Northern leaders, including the mayors of Taktoyaktuk and Inuvik, are eager for development to proceed. Out of a challenge comes opportunity. So as we see that, the challenge is we have climate change happening. Uh, the opportunity is, well, there's resources under the sea and on the Arctic islands that we as Canada uh, better step up to the plate and make sure we're, we're, we're on the ball here. But the oil industry's appetite for Arctic crude is far from assured. Energy giants ExxonMobil, Imperial Oil, Chevron, and BP are assessing exploration blocks in the Beaufort Sea. But no commitments have been made to drill in the icy waters, which are subject to geotechnical and environmental challenges. It's going to happen. I, I know, I know for, for sure. We wouldn't be, the oil and gas wouldn't be spending so much, or industry wouldn't be spending so much money if they were not sure and confident. I, I'm as confident as them as they are. Northerners are hopeful that a promising shale prospect in the central Mackenzie Valley will pan out. But drillers there face high costs and local concerns over fracking and water use. Many view northern development with a heavy dose of caution. We've always been locked up in the Arctic. Uh, we've rich in resources, but always it's been, well, you're 10 years out. You're on the plan, but you're 10 years out because it's just too expensive to do business and we won't be able to make a, a, a good enough return on investment for the large companies. It took 10 years and 200 million dollars to build a bridge across the Mackenzie River. In 2010, Canada's National Energy Board approved construction of the long-delayed Mackenzie Valley Pipeline and Gas Mega Project. By then, however, the pipeline no longer made economic sense. Through that whole Mackenzie pipeline, the companies kind of shied away from it, you know, because I don't think they wanted to get saddled with maybe building public infrastructure. Work crews will start building an all-weather road on the Arctic Delta this winter. Whether it sparks an industrial revival is an open question. For the Financial Post, I'm Jeff Lewis. Oh, yeah.